What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Today I have a couple of house cleaning reminders as well as some very interesting tweets from Riddler Koo. So let's go ahead and hop into the news. Bye. Bye. Okay, so per usual, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the actual factual information and then we'll hop into the leaks at the very end since we have no way of confirming whether they're actually real or whether they actually mean anything, at least in this case. So starting off with what is actually confirmed to be happening. Number one, the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves Terror Raid Battle event has begun its second run in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and these did go live yesterday. Due to some issues in its first run, this event has returned to give players an opportunity to catch if they received the error originally. So this is something that affected people that literally just connected to the internet while they were playing the game, and the raids happened to go live when they did that. Obviously, since they were on the older version of the game, the data for Walking Wake and Iron Leaves was not in the game yet. So instead of actually encountering the Paradox Legendaries, they encountered eggs. Bad eggs, to be exact. So obviously, they wanted to fix that. So this is round two, so that they can actually catch the Paradox Legendaries. If you already caught the Paradox Legendaries, you are not able to catch them again. However, you can still participate in these raids and farm them for items. I'm sorry to everyone that was hoping that they would be able to get multiple walking wakes and iron leaves. You are still not able to do that. They're basically treating these like the seven stars, just one per save file. But the second round of the Paradox Legendary Raids will run until May 14th at 1159 UTC. And the second update that we currently have for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is not Pokemon Home, which I am salty about, but we'll get into that later, is that a new season of ranked battles has begun. So Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's Ranked Battle Season 6 has begun. This season is the second that runs Regulation C's rule set, which added Chen Pao, Wo Chen, Ting Lu, and Chi Yu to the usable Pokemon roster. This season will run until May 31st, 2023 at 11.59 UTC. So it is a brand new season. You can now restart. You do get set back a couple of tiers when you do restart the season. So you gotta work your way up the ladder again if you are into the online battles. But I'm not gonna lie, Regulation C has been pretty fun so far. And I will say that I think I have turned a new leaf and I now like Ting Lu. I had a grudge against Ting Lu for a really long time because of Fissure, but I built one for myself and named it Ting Mu. And I myself personally do not run Fissure just out of pride. So I'm running it with Earthquake. We'll see how I do in this season. But alongside this, as season five is now over, the rewards are able to be collected for all players. So go get your rewards as well. And the last update that I have for you guys that's actually based in fact Actual evidence is a Pokemon Go update for all my Pokemon Go players out there. So as of today at 10 o'clock local time, the Instinctive Hero event has begun, which if you did not watch my video on the Instinctive Hero event, this is the only time that you will be able to get the exclusive costumed Elect Kid with the Team Instinct little patch on its arm. Is it a crazy costume? No, but you literally can only get one of these per event and there is literally no other way that you're going to be able to get it. So if you don't participate in this event, you will not be able to obtain this specific specific elect kid. So if you are a collector that likes to collect rare Pokemon, do not forget about this event. This is basically like the Lapras event that we got earlier with Team Mystic, where it had the little bow in it, which that event was the only way that you could get that Lapras as well. And just like the Lapras event, this elect kid does have the chance of being shiny as well. So if you get a shiny of this very exclusive Pokemon, then you will literally have one of the rarest Pokemon in Pokemon Go. And alongside this very exclusive costume Pokemon, they have also added Larvesta into the game and Volcarona as well. The caveat is that you are only able to hatch Larvesta out of eggs. Once again, I did cover all this information in depth in a video, so I will leave that video linked in the eye in case you did want to get a rundown of the entire event. But the reason that people are not too thrilled about Larvesta only being in eggs is that it does take 400 Larvesta candy to evolve it into Volcarona. So you can see why people think this is a scheme to get people to to buy a ton of incubators. But nonetheless, we are getting an exclusive Pokemon and a new Pokemon during this event. So definitely one that you don't want to skip out on. But now that we have all of the factual information out of the way, let's get into the juicy leak, shall we call it? Which is this tweet right here from Riddler Koo that he tweeted out earlier today that says, time to go back home, guys. And he has a little emote of a cat, a crocodile, 
and a duck, as well as the sleeping symbol, and I don't think that this uh, smiley face emoji is connected to anything, but people are thinking that this is supposed to represent the three starters for Paldea, Sprigatito, Coco, and Quaxly. Maybe this is for Pokemon Sleep, I guess? I don't know. But people are basically saying that this has to do with a Pokemon Home update, which Riddler Koo did tweet out a couple of more cryptic tweets. This one here saying, I've prepared all the stuff I need to throw down. What are we throwing? What, hello? Are we fighting, sir? And this one here that says, we are on the way home getting hyped. He keeps saying home, so obviously I feel like he's hinting at the fact that we're probably gonna get Pokemon home this month, maybe? He then says, wanted, go Salazzle and go Larvesta to fully register all of my home dexes. And the link distributions are, yeah, as lame as they were posted the day before. Okay, look at him with his sass. But so obviously he's not really saying a lot with those tweets. Someone did comment and say, please just give us a date and info, no vague riddles that make sense after the info is officially released. And all he said was, you'll know them in a few hours. However, it is now currently 7.45 p.m. my time on the West Coast, and he tweeted out that tweet 17 hours ago according to Twitter, and we still have no updates. So, don't know when we're gonna get these details, but hopefully it does have to do with Pokemon Home. Someone did also tweet out this picture of a supposed leak about what is supposed to be coming in this month, and right here in the Pokemon Home section, it does say that the Pokemon Home update will go live on May 12th. So maybe that's why Riddler Koo is starting to gear up his riddles again or some people also think that he's literally just getting ready to tweet out more riddles and that's why he was saying time to go home like time to go back to riddles but maybe it is connected to this leak because the past couple of leaks have been pretty spot on i'm not gonna lie it also says connectivity to scarlet and violet and an event with iron valiant for scarlet and roaring moon for violet with a special mark so it looks like supposedly we're supposed to be getting pokemon home in about a week and we are going to be getting another round of terror raid events which that doesn't surprise me but the pokemon home thing i'm a little sketched out about. Everyone keeps saying that it is Golden Week in Japan right now, which is where they have like four national holidays back to back to back. So nothing really gets announced during this week. So I seriously doubt that we are gonna get any new info in the next couple of days, but I figured that I would throw this in there because it does seem to be hinting at the fact that we will get Pokemon Home this month. But like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, those are just leaks and we don't actually have any way of proving that they're real. So we do realistically just have to wait and see, even if we do eventually get an update from Riddler Koo. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.